Now let's take a look at a legal problem called longest substring without repeating characters. So we're given a string s. Uh, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. So here you can see we have a string and we want to find the longest substring with no repeating characters. So we're going to have return a three because we have a substring that has, uh, we have a longest substring with, with no repeating characters. In this case, we can have ABC or BCA or ABC, right? So pretty much we have a, a substring that has a length of three with no repeating character and, and that's the longest. So in this case, we also have another example where we only have uh, one uh, one distinct characters. So in this case, we're returning B, or sorry, we're returning one because there's only one uh, uh, one element in the longest substring without repeating characters. And here you can see we have another string where which we have um, W K E, right? We can also have K E W. So uh, by all means, we have basically three three uh, elements in the in our substring and we're going to return that size which is three so we cannot choose p uh, p w k e because in this case we need to have the longest substring which which means that all the elements in the in the in the substring must be right next to each other right or consecutive um, so in this case we cannot say p here and then w k e like that right so we have to uh, have a substring that's you know uh, consecutive. So in this case, we have a, uh, a three, right? So now here you can see we have another example where we have a string that's empty. Then we're just going to return zero, right? So in this case, uh, what we can do is we can we can define our base case, right? So our base case pretty much is that if we have an empty string or the string is null, uh, or if there's only one element in the string, then we can um, uh, we, we can be pretty much just return one, right? Or the size of the string. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, using the sliding window technique to solve this problem. And the idea is pretty simple. Uh, we're going to have a string like this. For example, we're going to have our left and our right pointer basically represents our uh, left pointer represents the starting of our window. The right pointer represents the, the, the end of our window, right? Where does our window end? And their job is pretty simple. Our right pointer is there to expand our window if we uh, if we met the condition. And if we don't met the condition, we want to get the left pointer start to contract our window. Okay, so then we're going to have our table and we're going to have our max length. So in this case, our table is there to track how uh, the, this, the, the characters that we have so far, right? How many characters we have and, how, and, and their appearance uh, in our window. So that if we have a situation where a window size does not equal our table, then we know that we encounter a distinct characters. So if that's the case, we can start to shrink our window. So first we're going to have a which appear once. Then we move the right pointer one to the right. Okay. And of course, we're going to update our, our length, uh, which we're going to have two elements in the in the um, in a window, right? So then we're going to expand our window again. So now we have ABC. And then we, of course, we're going to uh, update our max length, right? So then we know that we have our table, the size of the table is equal to the size of window. So we want to continue to expand because we meet the condition. So now we have a two, two, two A's in our, in our window. So that means we do not met the condition. So we can start to contract our window now. So to contract our window, right? So, so far uh, in this case, our max length that we have seen that met the condition is three, right? We have ABC that does not have uh, repeating characters. So then we're gonna start to contract. So now we have, we remove A out of our window. So now A is equal to one. And uh, now we met the condition, we're gonna start to expand our window. So now with B, we have two, right? So in this case, we uh, do not met the condition. Now we start to contract our window. By removing B, right, moving, removing the left uh, element off of our window, right. So then we're gonna expand our window. Now we met the condition. So now we have two C. So in this case, we don't, we do not met the condition. We're gonna start to ex uh, expand our window. Then we're going to uh, add B, and now we don't met the condition. We're gonna start to contract our window again, right. So then what we're gonna do is we're going to remove B, right. And in this case, we're going to, uh, in this case, de uh, increase, or I should say, deleting A 
in this case we're deleting a out of our our table and uh, we still have a we still do not meet the condition because b has two elements and in this case our window has three so we're going to contract our window again we're removing c and uh, in this case uh, sorry in this case we're removing b right so we have one l we only have one b so now in this case we met the condition and now we have to start to expand our window but what, once we met the condition right we know we met the condition we of course we want to update our max length so if we were to update, update our max length we want we want to always keep the maximum value for this variable right so three is bigger than two so in this case we're going to have three assigned to the max length and now we're going to expand our window again so now we have two b's and in this case we do not met the condition so we're going to uh, contract our window so now we have only b right so now we're going to contract our window again because we do not met the condition so now we only have one b we met the condition we check to see if this current length of the table is bigger than the max length in this case we don't so we're just going to continue to expand it and now uh, the right pointers go out of balance so our job is done right so to solve this problem in code uh, first, we're basically going to define our, our, our base case, right? So just like I talked about earlier, we're going to have our base case uh, if the size of the string is less than two, um, or or is empty or null. Uh, sorry, in this case, if the if the size of the string is uh, uh, less than two, we can just return the size of the string. Once we define our base case, we're going to define our pointers. So define pointers. And once we define our pointers, we're going to focus on uh, defining our tables. So define tables. So define a table that basically keeps track of the uh, unique elements and how many times did that element appear. And then we want to define the maximum length that we have seen so far, right? The maximum length uh, or the longest substring that we have seen so far. Once we define those variables, we're going to focus on uh, using sliding window to perform uh, uh, to to find the the, the longest substring. So longest find longest uh, non-repeating or yeah longest substring so and at the end we want to return the max length okay so in this case we're going to have our base case so in this case integer n is well first let's convert this string into a character array Once we convert this into a character array, we're going to uh, have n, which is equal to array.length. And then we're going to see if n is less than 2. If it's less than 2, we can just return n. Okay, so that's kind of like our base case, right? So then if it's bigger than, uh, if it has a size that's bigger than or equal to 2, then we want to make sure we um, um, execute our, our function, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to define our pointers. So our pointers, we have a left, which is equal to zero. Our right pointer is equal to zero as well. And uh, our table, basically, we're going to have a hash map. The key is going to be the character. And the value is going to be how many times that character appeared in the current window. So we're going to have hash map is equal to hash map. Okay, so then we're going to define our current uh, max length, right? So in this case, our max length initially is zero, right? So we, have, uh, we, we haven't had any elements into our, our window yet or our table yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to say while the right pointer is less than n, we're going to uh, focus on uh, adding the current element onto our table, right? So adding current element... Once we add the current element, we want to see if we met the condition. Uh, check if we met if we meet the condition, right? Condition. If we don't meet the condition, we want to contract our window. And then at the end, we want to make sure that after we we, we know that we are we're updating our uh, we're met the condition, we want to make sure we update the max length, right? And then we want to make sure we move the right pointer one to the right, right? Our one to the right okay so now let's try to implement them so we're adding the current element in this case we're going to have hash map dot put right so in this case uh, array right at r right we're going to increment that element by one so hash map dot get or default array at r initially if we don't 
uh, if we don't find that element, we're going to set it zero. So in this case, we're going to increment the appearance of that element by one. Uh, and then we're going to check to see if that element, uh, in this case, if we met the current condition. And to do that, we're going to say if, so while, right, while hash map dot size does not equal to uh, the current size, which is r minus the left plus one. So if it does not met the con uh, does not met this condition, we're going to focus on um, contracting our window, and we're going to contract our window by using the left pointer, and uh, we're going to say hash map dot put, right? We're going to say array at left hash map dot get array at left decrement that by one. Okay. Once we uh, remove the element off of our uh, or I should say decrement that element appearance by one, we're going to see if that element uh, hash map dot get array at left, if it's equal to zero. If it's equal to zero, we can just remove that element. So dot remove array at left, right? And then after we remove that element, if the current element appearance is zero, we're going to make sure we move our left pointer one to the right, right? So we start contracting our window. And after we met the condition, after we do all this and we met the condition now, uh, we satisfied our current condition, we're gonna make sure we update our maximum length. So the maximum length, right, is gonna equal to the maximum value, the dot max, is either the, the current max length or the current window size. It's gonna be r minus left plus one. And then we're going to move the left, uh, sorry, the right pointer one to the right, okay? And at the end, we want to make sure we're returning uh, the max length. So in this case, our max length is going to be the maximum length that we, uh, the maximum substring without, re uh, without repeating characters that we have seen so far. Okay, so we're going to continue to do that until we get our result. So now let's try to run our code. And let's try to try with a few more examples. Okay, let's try to submit. And here you can see this is how we solve this uh, Leco longest substring without uh, repeating characters problem.